A question that coaches and athletes seem to ask time and again is, how do I know that I've recovered from my last workout or that I've recovered from the race? And, you know, we, we have all these vague starting points and people think that we have to do a workout at a certain time or a certain place. But a key element is, are you recovered? And how do you know that you're recovered? This is, uh, this is where we come in. We want to talk to you today about establishing a baseline heart rate. We need you to get your athlete, we need to get your heart rate twice every morning for a month. The first thing you'll do is, before your feet hit the floor in the morning, you'll take these middle two fingers and we'll place them here in the carotid artery. And we'll take either a six second reading and put a zero on the end, which would give us the equivalent of a 60 second reading, or we'll go ahead and measure for 15 multiplied by four, 30 multiplied by two, or take a 60 second reading of what your absolute resting heart rate is when you wake up first thing in the morning, not after you get up and go to the bathroom or you uh, comb your hair or shave or get ready for school. We're gonna do that one later, but the first thing in the morning, you'll take a reading. And the reason you use these two fingers and not the thumb on a pulse is there's actually a pulse in the thumb. So rather than do this and take uh, a misreading here, we want to take these two fingers and measure our pulse like this. We'll record that, and then later on in the morning, whenever we've already showered, shaved, done whatever we've had to do to get ready for work or for school, we'll take another resting heart rate. We'll sit down, relax, take a deep breath, and get another reading in the same manner. We'll write those on a calendar for 30 days, and this should give us a pretty accurate reading of what our baseline heart rate is. What's the point of this, and how's this going to tell us that we've recorded, we've re, excuse me, recovered from a workout? What this will tell us is what our heart rate is 24, 48, 36 hours after a workout. If we're not recovering from our workouts, our heart rate is going to remain elevated anywhere from four or six to eight beats a, a minute three days after, two days after. It definitely will. If I take a hard workout today, chances are good that my heart rate, resting heart rate, will be elevated. Both of those figures will be elevated probably four to eight beats a minute the following day. If I'm in shape and I'm recovering the next day, they may be elevated two to four beats a minute. But if they're still elevated that third day, I'm not recovering from the workout and we have to go back and look at, was the workout too demanding, too hard? It need to be discussed with the coach. Or we need to look at what else we're doing. We're not recovering. What can happen here? If you continue to take these difficult workouts and you're not recovering, and you notice that those two baseline heart rate readings remain elevated for two, three, four days after a workout or a race, you're either coming down or something, you need to see a physician, you need to look at your sleep, you need to look at your diet, look at other things that really stress into your life and try to eliminate them. That's part of the recovery process. Once again, I establish that base heart rate so we don't have an hour of recovery two days, three days after a hard workout or a hard race. Do that first thing in the morning before your feet hit the floor, the second thing in the morning after you're ready for school, ready for work, you're about to go out the door, you can stop a moment and relax and get that base heart rate. Once you've established that over a period of anywhere from two to four weeks, you'll know what your two baseline readings are and can tell if you're recovering.